Hi guys, this is Manas and today we will be continuing with our discussion on projection of points and before watching this video, I would urge each and every one of you to go through the concepts uh, in projection of points video which is earlier to this one, okay? I am providing a link to that also um, and if you have seen this video, then you would find yourself in a very good position to go for problems based on projection of points. So let us begin. Now this is going to be the first problem and uh, let's start. Draw the projection of the following points on the same ground line, keeping the projectors 25 mm apart. So guys, basically here are seven different points from A to G. All right. What we're going to do is we need, we'll be identifying for each and every point. We'll be identifying what is the value of H. H is uh, something that we call the distance from horizontal plane. And uh, we'll also identify what is D. D is something that we call the distance from vertical plane. Okay. So the distance from horizontal plane is H. It's going to be either above horizontal plane. That means it could either be first or second quadrant. Uh, the distance or H could be below the horizontal plane. That means the case could either be of a third quadrant or a fourth quadrant. Similarly, when we speak of distance in front of VP, you would say that it may be the first quadrant or fourth quadrant. And uh, if we speak of distance, any distance behind the vertical plane, then only two different quadrants come to my mind that is second quadrant and third quadrant i guess you would be in a much better position uh, after we, you have seen the video previous video when i delivered the concepts regarding points placed in different positions and the various cases that i've uh, explained there okay so right now we'll begin with uh, point a all right so point a is in the hp that means its distance from horizontal plane is absolutely zero. That is H is equal to zero for point A and 20 mm behind the VP. Behind the VP, only two things could happen. Either this point is in the second quadrant or this point is in the third quadrant. So both the cases are absolutely valid. You can either assume point A to be in the second quadrant or it you can either assume it to be in the third quadrant. What we're going to assume is we're going to assume that point A is in the second quadrant. And by the logic of second quadrant, we know H and D, the distances H and D are above XY line. Okay, starting. Okay, right now we're gonna draw this XY line. All right, and we're gonna draw the projection of point A. H is equal to zero and D is equal to 20. So H is zero. So it's gonna be somewhere here and D is absolutely um, 20. H and D both are up or above XY line. Uh, we have, we need to write uh, uh, with H always put a dash for any point that you are drawing the projection of and with D distance D this is distance D don't put a dash that means a dash will be here and a is going to be here that's it folks here it is well that's it that's how the projection of point a uh, will be done <coughs> all right moving to point B as far as point B is concerned point B is 40 mm above HP 40 mm above HP and 25 in front of VP. That means H is equal to 40 and D is equal to 25. And this particular point is lying in the first quadrant because the point is above HP and in front of VP. All right. So as far as the logic of front uh, first quadrant goes, we know that H is going to be above XY line and D is going to be below XY line. Fine. So from this point at a distance of 25 millimeters, I'm again going to put up a point and you know <coughs> that the projectors are to be kept 25 millimeters apart. So how many projectors would be there in totality? It would be somewhere around seven, seven projectors. I mean, and each of them have to be uh, separated by a distance of 25 mm each. Now the next thing that we're going to do is uh, H is going to be above and D is going to be below. H is 40, D is 25. Fine. So from this point over, um, you need to go 40 steps up and from this point again, you need to come 25 steps down. Uh, this is going to be the projection of point B. All right. Uh, you're going to write uh, this is a distance H. So you'll write a B dash over here and this is D no dash. That means simply B, right? Good. Something like this. Dimensions, you can do so. This is going to be 40 and this uh, is going to be 25. Right. So we now have the projection of point B. Bingo. Now let's move for point C. 
um, this is going to be again at a distance of 25 millimeters uh, and as far as point C is concerned let us see in which quadrant this point lies C is in the VP vertical plane okay fine so um, in 40 mm above HP so there is a point C which lies in the vertical plane at this 40 mm above HP now you can either say that this lies belongs to first quadrant or you can also say this belongs to second quadrant because it is above HP and above HP there are two quadrants first and second okay now if we consider this to be in the first quadrant we know the value it's in the VP that means its distance from the vertical plane is absolutely nothing because it lies in the vertical plane that means D is going to be 0 and it is 40 mm above HP that is H is going to be 0 uh, sorry 40 alright so H is going to be above X Y D is going to be 0 so let us do this H is going to be 40 and D is going to be 0 so D is going to lie over here somewhere here okay so this point this is H this distance over here is H let me indicate this this distance over here is H okay and if this is H a dash will be put here against this point C C dash will be here and C is going to be here let us do it quickly well that's it guys uh, now coming over to point D now you can see this this point D is 25 mm below HP now below HP there are two quadrants either it could be quadrant number 3 or it could be quadrant number 4 let us see whether the point is in front or behind if it's in front then we would say that it's fourth quadrant and if it's behind then we would say um, it's third quadrant let us see 25 mm behind VP so the case is pretty clear this particular point D lies in the third quadrant for which the values of H and D distances H and D okay so there is a coincidence the name of the point is D and the distance is also denoted or represented by D alright so don't get confused H and D for these two points are 25 and 25 okay so let me put a point over here at a distance of 25 millimeters and H is 25 okay since it is a third quadrant case H is going to be below so 25 below H is below and 25 up okay and uh, as far as point naming is concerned so below we have distance this distance was H so with H you need to put a dash so D dash and uh, the next thing that we'll be doing is this is going to be simply D okay all right that's it that's it so four points are over three more to go let's go for it point E 15 mm above HP and 50 mm behind VP sounds similar 15 and 50 ah, let's not get confused 15 mm above HP now only two things come to my mind above HP that means it could either be first quadrant or second quadrant 50 mm behind VP hmm okay this is a clear-cut case it's behind VP that means it has got to be it has got to be second quadrant all right so what we're gonna do is uh, we know the value of H is going to be 15 1 5 the value of D is going to be 50 5 0 it's a second quadrant case H and D both of them will be above XY line so let us do this quickly let me put up a point again this point is at a distance of 25 millimeters from the previous projector all right um, wait made it or not yes sir now H and D both of them will be above all right so this is going to be 15 um, and there is one more point this is going to be 50 from XY line well that's it what we're gonna do right now is um, I'm gonna do this please uh, ha this is 50 all right all right where is 15 gone uh, it must be somewhere here here it is this is 15 now guys uh, this is for point E and let us differentiate with between 50 and 15 in terms of H and D now 15 mm above HP that means this dimension over here is H if it is H you need to put a dash against the name of the point so since the name of the point is E you need to put E dash over here and this 50 is let me do this quickly this is going to be simply E all right
that's it now as far as point f is concerned point f is 40 mm below hp 40 mm below hp oh let me think got to be third quadrant or fourth quadrant let us see whether it's in front of vp or behind vp it's clear cut case in front of vp that means it has got to be fourth quadrant the value of h again is 40 the value of d is 25 if it's a case of fourth quadrant that means h and d both of them will be below x y line okay H and D. What is the value of H? H value is 40. Value of D is 25. Um, 25. All right. Where is the point? Well, that's it, folks. And this over here is 25. This distance over here is 25. So let me give it the dimensions this is 25 and this distance is 40 now let us again check whether 25 is h or d okay if one is h then the other one has to be d now if 40 is below hp that means this dimension over here is h and if it is h then this has got to be f dash you need to put a dash always with any dimension that is for h and then this has got to be f simply now the last point g in both hp and vp that that means um it's a case in which there is a particular point which lies both in horizontal plane and vertical plane this can only happen on the reference line okay uh, this can only happen along the line where both the planes intersect each other that is the reference line or the xy line fine all right let us finish it off so this is 25 and this is exactly the point over here you're gonna write g dash and here itself you're gonna write g all right both HP and VP that means the value of H and D for both the uh, for for G is actually zero if H is zero and D is zero so both front views and top views are gonna be here itself that is on the reference line all right so that's it folks from my side and uh, like the video hit subscribe thank you see you again